listen to me? Okay, let's have a good clean fight, okay? May the best man win. Shake hands. Shake hands. He's coming back. Well, not, don't kill themselves, eh? Bozlani Mahali Kazim Abuza. Up for the WBF Junior World Who's the World title. Judge? Zolani Mahali is the defending okay. champion. Thank you. Abuza looks like he's come to fight. Zolani, we know, is a counter puncher. Guy that moves a lot, bumps that jab. Mabuza looks like he wants to make sure that he wants to end this fight the earliest possible like he can. Stop! Stop! Stop. Mabuza looks like he's come to business. Tell me about I don't want you to see me holding, and I don't want you to use... You look at that, like how he wants to... Okay, like, looking at cutting the ring, Brian, so quick. Want to make sure that he doesn't give Ma Mahali a chance to move around. Those of you stop holding, okay? You are holding, okay? Well, the refs Box. warning them Indeed. as early as the first minute of the first round not to throw each other around. It's not a WBF wrestling competition. This is professional boxing. Got to keep it clean. Right! Come here. Stop! Well, Holly's the here. one that's actually... Hey, the next guy that does anything like that, I'll take away a point. Now let's box. Mabuza says, bring it on. Break! Step back. Look, looks like Brian Mabuza just wants to get into business. Doesn't want to play, even though Mahal is playing around. And Mabuza's cutting that ring off. Break! I said break, you just listen to me, okay? Box. I think Mabuza must be careful of uh, don't let this thing that is being done by Mahali get into his mind. Now Mahali's got to keep that jab going on the outside, but it's not easy when somebody's in your face. <laughs> That's a problem. As a Mabuza should use the jab not be lunging with the right hand. Another thing, the, another thing that he's not doing is not cutting the ring, he's just following Mahali and then he's going to fall into a trap. Stop! Well, a good first round for Kaza Mabuza. Concentrate what you need to do. You understand? He's running. Step there. Come on. When it comes down block, hit with it. When it comes, hit with it. You understand? Don't get frustrated. You understand? Concentrate what you need to do. Oh God! Make a yard. Oh, that was causing a boozer trying to throw his man off. Well, there's Zolani Mukhali throwing his man down. <laughs> Daniel Rubin is calling them, telling them, warning them. Box. Rushing forward, <laughs> Mahali looks like he's trying to make sure that uh, 
nothing catches him. I wonder how long is he going to do that. All this right hand from Abuza that he's looking for. But too much on the bicycle, he needs to stand, stand his ground and work. I think Brian Bisbal says they know them, I mean, they know each other too well. So Mahali knows exactly, and he's been expecting that it, it, this thing is going to come like it. That's why he's moving too much, making sure that it's right on, his, on the mind of Mabuza. Back. Mabuza's proved that he's been a terrific world champion in his time, former IBO champion former South African champion. And he's loading up now. It's Mapuza. Break! Yes, then. Mahal is making sure that he's on his bicycle. Fox! Uh, I would love if he could mix that with some punches and then do what he's doing and mix it with some punches, not just run away all along for the whole round. Oh, good left hook from Mabuza. How much does Mahali want this? He's got to stand a bit toe to toe. Break! Break! Stop! Don't you hear when I say break? You must break and take a step back. Mabuza must up. be careful of all these tactics Mahali is playing because. Once he let them play on his mind, then he's going to lose the game. We're going to lose the focus. Right! Good straight break. right from Mabuza. I said break. Right to the solar plexus. Break is break. Hurt his man. Call it. Round from Mabuza, how would you say it? Welcome. I, I agree with you, Brian, because even though uh, Mahal is doing his moving away, but he's not doing what's supposed to be. He's not doing what he's supposed to be doing in terms of throwing the punches. Yes, he's moving, he's frustrating him, but he's not scoring um, in terms of throwing the punches. So I would give it to Mabuza because he's the one, he's the one who wants to fight most. Oh, without a doubt, uh, he's looking the part now as Mabuza. Here comes Mabuza, straight right. I think what my need, Mabuza needs to do is not to come down and focus on round by round, making sure that he's scoring punches, not to want to win the fight Fox. by any punch that he throws. Because Mahal right. is well Get aware back. of that. So he's, he's going to make it pointed that that doesn't happen. Break! Stop! Mahal is a good boxer, you know, scientifically, but it's not going to win him the fight. He's got to be landing punches. Brian, like a, he's not throwing punches, he's just running away all along, he's running away, running away, right. doing nothing. He's running and holding, and that's not going to help him. Lunging with the right hand. 
if I was in Mabuza's corner, I would tell him to cool down, just relax, enjoy the fight, enjoy the fight. Yeah, basically, what he should try to do, Mabuza, is get uh, Makali to come to him. Stand in the middle of the ring and make him come to you. Break! It's going to be easier than Let's chasing go. him from corner to corner. Rightly so, friend, because you never know. A punch may come up from nowhere from, from Makali. can be caught in like low, so cold down there. Break! Yeah, a, a good punch from Mabuza can end this fight. But Makali's not making a good fight of it. Well, if he wants to defend the WBF title, you're welcome. He's going to have to throw punches, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's Macaulay. true. Because right now we just see two fighters that are just chasing one another in the ring. We don't see action. We don't see no punches being thrown for the past two rounds. Break! Let him go. You, Let can't, him go. Win a, a, you can't defend the title by just running, not throwing punches. To win a fight, you got to throw punches. Uh, look, I mean, he, he's a scientific boxer and he's a kind of puncher, but you've got to stand your ground sometimes. You know, Tommy Hearns was scientific and he used to yes. fight off the back foot a bit now and then, but he stood his ground. And that's not what Zelani Macaulay's doing. Oh, let him go. Step back. Stop. It's like they're doing a ballroom dance now, friend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It does look like a ballroom dance at this stage. The problem right there is not with Mabuza, the problem right there is Mahali. Mahali doesn't want to fight. He just runs and runs and runs. And I don't know. Come back to the hook. Jab double right, left into the You must come back to the hook. Understand? He's going to steal these rounds every round like that if you're going to allow him to do this. You've got to get on top of him. You understand? Take a deep breath. Come on, Kaiser. Let him come to you. Come on. You need to throw. Let him come one, to two, you. One, two, three. Don't try and knock him with one punch. Throw combinations. Combine him and the corner. Throw combinations. Pretty pulled out on the one side. Yeah, back here. Hey, come up. Right brilliant here. venue, yeah. And the corner. I see convention center. Wait here. Go there. Fox! I think, Brian, if Mabuza can work out, I mean, can start working from his jab and use his jab mostly just to settle uh, Mahali from what he's doing. Oh, Fox. big right yeah, hand from Mabuza. Fox. And down goes Makali. Stop. The referee says it's a trip. Stop. Well, possibly. Fox. Doesn't seem too badly hurt Makali. The right hand landed at the same time he went down. Break. Mabuza, if he wants Break. to settle Makali from what he's doing, yeah, he needs to use right. his jab. Set him up with a jab. Set him up and then follow with the right hand. But if he did, or Rimmick's got his hands full here. Stop! Okay, this is your first warning. You go to that corner. Okay. Pushing like this and not breaking. One point. One point. One point. But well, there it is, right? Please. You know, you can't do what Mabuz has done. You know, that's illegal. He's getting frustrated though, but you still can't push a man like that with the elbow and with the, your your glove even. You can't push his head backwards. You've got to throw punches. So the referee was absolutely right by taking that point. Right. But if you look at it, it's all Zelani Makhali. That's the spoiler, yeah? The problem is, Brian, Mabuza is a fighter. He's like Tyson. He wants to... Wants you to come and stay in the center of the ring and throw punches. Is that type of a boxer? Yeah, he, he, he certainly is. A good right hand from Mabuza again there. But in the same breath, 
you know, welcome with a guy like Zulani. How do you win the fight? He's defending his title. How do you win just by running and, and not throwing punches? I mean, that's not going to work. Exactly, Frank. I'm sure what he's looking at is looking at the later rounds, maybe caught him. I mean, he's going to catch him through his mistakes. Ah. Oh, yeah, Good right nice hand right there for Mabuse. Break! I can tell you, Brian, uh, Mahali does feel the power of Mabuse. That's why he's so scared Bust. to stand in front of him. Yeah, Mahali's definitely felt the power. He's got to obviously box on the outside, but I mean, he's got to throw punches right. as well. Well, it's basically a chip, but look at the leg, the friend. Look at that leg, Mabusa's leg. There it is, right there. There it is, that leg, right there. See? Yeah, absolutely. That's great, great camera action there from both fighters going down there. Mabuza. Slow down and just pick up with his punches, work behind the tap, make him circle, circle with the tap before he can catch him. Otherwise, if he chases him like he do, he won't catch him. There we see Mabuza, 39 fights, 28 wins to 28 fights from Makali. 24 wins to Makali. Break! Makali's gonna need to. Pick up that work rate. Probably lost three of the first four rounds. Break! He hasn't, of all the rounds that he has been doing, this moving and, and, and all this kind of stuff, he hasn't thrown a single punch that tells that he wants to. That Mr. Mandela would have been proud of. Okay, let's get it together. Let's box and move. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Good luck. Go on. <laughs> Interesting statement from Daryl Rubik there. Let's throw punches that Mr. Mandela would have been proud of. Well, it is Nelson Mandela today. We're all proud of Nelson Mandela, the great Nelson Mandela. Of course, this is Nelson Mandela Day. It would have been his hey. birthday today. Great action in round five. I think you missed something right there. The referee could have been down if that swing from Mabuza did manage to catch him. What's your head, eh? Oh, good right hand. Well, a very average fight so far. Mabuza's fighting the wrong fight. And of course, Zorani Makali is not even really in the fight. Let him go! It's very right. difficult, Brian, to tell us to who's winning, who's not losing, because it's just running, 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 and missing with the punches. Need the elbow. Break! Break! Step back. Back. Right hand right from Abuza. just did a good thing by switching to the right. body with that right hand. If he can right. keep with that, I think it can work Get for back. him. Mabuza needs to use his jab. He can't just launch about the right hand. Stop! Because Mabu holding, Mahad okay. is Go always the on the move. Once more, the point. Box! Five seconds to go in his fifth round. Oh, better round, I suppose, for Zelani. But I don't think enough to win him the round. Listen, 
Listen, what the fuck are you walking? Slama action there. In round five. Round away from the putting on the pressure. Come guys. What? Solani's head movement is very good. His stance is much too wide. His head movement is good. But he's got to stay in his ground and he's got to fight. He can't fight from so, such a, a long Wait. distance. Such a, a far away away from your body. He's two, two meters away and he's trying to throw punches. I think Zolan right is worried about Mabu Mabuza's power Stop. Um, it scares Stop. him as much as even if he wants to do something um, okay. he just decides oh, to run away before doing this, whatever he wants to do well, he's definitely scared of the power welcome as you said but you got to fight power guys and you've got to know how to outsmart him on the inside too Is actually fighting a good fight. Now, if he stood in the center of the ring, Zolani Mukhali wouldn't come to him. Right. Now, that's better punches there from Mukhali. Stand your ground and throw. If he can keep right. on doing like that, Brian, I think right. he can make a big difference right. from what he's doing. He's been doing in the past three, four rounds. Oh, oh good, good punch there. Yeah. From Akali. Are not impressed Wait. yet. I think what Mahali needs to do if he is boxing like this, he has to make him miss and make him pay, make him miss and make him pay. Wait. And not just let him go away without doing nothing. Well, if there was a run, I would give Mahali to run six. But he's battling here to win rounds by that running tactics. Stop. See the crowd getting ready for the IBO title fight. Up next, Lusanda Komonisi versus Matt Boots and Yabi at the International Convention Center for the vacant IBO featherweight title. That's going to be a humdinger and a cracker. And that is the fight that the people have really come to see here tonight at this ICC Center. I'm Brian Mitchell commentating with me. Welcome, Nita. He's a former junior featherweight champion of the world in the IBF. Welcome. How are you enjoying the boxing so far? No, I've been watching a good boxing, except that uh, this bout of Mahali and Mabuza. Ma Ma Mahali is making it look dull and by moving, not doing and uh, throwing punches. He just moves and moves it as if he's trying to get away from trouble and not fighting back. We're in round seven now. Kaza, the animal Mabuza against Solani. 
Uno Mana. He likes to call himself the untouchable Mahali. Muna Muna. Is it Muna Muna? Muna Muna. Way Muna Muna. Muna Muna. Muna Zolani the untouchable. But he needs to throw punches. Zolani is looking like he's fighting to survive the, the fight. He's not he's looking like he's somebody who wants to win. Absolutely. He's, that's what he looks like, Glockham. He's just uh, running and surviving and not trying to actually win the fight. I'm not sure whether he knows that he's defending his title right here. Well, you know, the sad thing is, and he's right. been a terrific fighter this time. You know, we, hey, we're not right. trying to knock any fighter, but Z Zolani probably thinks he's winning the fight, and that's not, that's not on. I don't know what's going on with him. He needs to throw punches. He's not fighting to win the fight right here. He's fighting to survive, I can tell you right now. Well, Kazem Mabuza from Tebisa from the Northwest, Johannesburg, trainer Manny Fernandes against the Untouchable. Zolani Makhali from Johannesburg, trainer Alan Tawil. Right! It looks holding. like Mabuza wants it most. Zolani Makhali just on the bicycle the whole time. How do you defend the world title if you're on your bicycle and you're not making it happen on the inside? Right! Magali right here is doing the same thing that he's been doing for all the past rounds. Mabuza needs to, to ease up, needs to relax, needs to just enjoy the fight, not want right. to kill Zolani. Get back! Because he makes Zolani see that he wants to kill and make him run away. He scares him. Yeah, look, at the end of the day, when you find a guy like a colleague, you got to, you got to cut the ring off, and then you got to work, put your head on his, on his chest and work inside, which uh, Mabuza hasn't done too well. Good right hand, as I say that. Break! Break! Stop! I think Mabuza did take this round because he was the one who was taking the fight and is most showing more determination in terms of winning the fight. That's way better. You got this round. You got this round. You got this round. You cannot throw one punch, one punch. You got to throw three. Well, Mabuza in action there. Round seven. Probably another good round from Mapuza. Not sure. How many rounds would you think Zolani Mikhali has actually won, uh, Welcome Nita? Oh, it's very difficult to say, Brian. The only thing that I know of is... The only thing that I know is he's been running around all night long. He goes on the bicycle again, Zolani. No jab, no nothing. Well, that, that's the, the important thing. You just hit the nail on the head there, welcome. Is that if you're on the bicycle and you're running like that, then at least pop the jab and yeah. land the jab. So you're doing something effectively and something yeah. constructively. And that's not happening yet. Even Mabuz as well. He's just chasing him like a robot. I mean, he might caught, be caught looking right there. That straight left that catches, that catches him now. Uh, good left and right hand, good right left hand in fact, from the South Pole Zolani. Who's a good right hand? Yes. If you can start working on that body with that straight right, straight, uh, right hand, Mabuza, I'm right. telling you, friend, something can show up. Get back, get back. As you said, Daryl rubbing the referee. 
from Natal is having a hard time. From Kwazulu Stop Natal. holding, break! He's holding got his hands back. full. Today is Nelson Mandela right. Day. And Brian Mitchell with Welcome Nita at the ICC Convention Centre in East London. Our second fight of the evening. We look forward to a big one coming up next. That boots and Yabi faces Lusanda Komanisi. And that should right. be a humdinger and a cracker. Back. Two former stable mates will be facing each other up next. Brian, I, I think this moving around of Ma, of Mahal is going to catch up on him. I can see him right. right now. He's starting to breathe heavily from his mouth. And the shots that Mawuza is throwing on the body are starting to tell. All, that's the kind of fight he should fight. Yes, Brian. All he needs to do is just focus on that body if he wants to stop Mahali from what he's doing. Focus on that body. from Zelani McCauley. Not sure if I awarded him the round, but a little bit better. Well, there we see up next, Sonda Komanisi against Durant Jr. He fights Mac Boots and Yabi. It'll be for the vacant IBO featherweight title scheduled for 12 rounds. Boots and Yabi, the man in the opposite dressing room, warming up. This is a big one for this vacant IBO featherweight title. Both former stable mates of Dick Durant. And it's going to be a cracker of a fight. Mahali back on his bike again. Mawuza can't close the gap. See that right hand, Brian, that they catches me top right hand on the body. Well, right. if, if he can focus, right, working on the body instead of back. looking for right. the hurt, I think it can work better for him. I'm talking about Mabuza. Yeah, Ma Mabuza should be cracking that body for sure. But it's, it's easier said than done, I suppose, as well. <laughs> Welcome, because, I mean, the man's running. He's on his bicycle, flat out. He's doing a complex marathon out there as a Lonnie McCauley. Right. As you said, up next, Mahmoud Sanyabi against Lusanda Komanisi, ex-table mates, and they will be right. fighting for the IBA World Featherweight title. We look forward to that fight straight after this fight. Doing. Well, he's running out of time now, Zolani. 
from Indutsani, Alamin in Johannesburg, trained by Alan Tawil. At ringside, I'm Brian Mitchell. If you welcome Nita, and we believe that Zulani Makhali is behind on points. And I'm sure the judges would have him behind on points right now. Another good run by Mabuza as he lands it right hand to finish round number nine. Three rounds to go. We see Mandela Day, Nelson Mandela Day, the great icon Nelson Mandela. And then we see the guys <laughs> reading the newspaper here. He knows he's on camera now, so he's quickly going to phone his kids. <laughs> Tell them, you better watch Daddy's on camera. Put your PVR on, tape it. <laughs> the great Nelson Mandela Day here at the Eyes International Convention Center in East London. Great to be sitting with former IBF junior featherweight world champion welcome. He had six defenses of the title. And you from this part of the world, welcome. But great to have you as a fellow commentator. Look forward to the next fight. That's going to be a cracker. Back boots and Yabi. And of course, former South African champion, or current South African champion, Rosanda Komanisi. And they fight for the IBO world featherweight title. Come up. Well, this is round 10 if you just joined us. Not the greatest fight ever. Solani Mikhali against Kaiser Mabuza for the WBF Junior Welterweight title. And in fact, Zolani Mikhali is the champion. And I don't think he's going to be the champion in the next nine minutes or so. But uh, I agree, things have happened in boxing. Yes, Brian, I agree with you. That because he's not doing not nothing except running around and doing all these uh, dancing and moving and not throwing punches and the only person who wants this fight most is Mabuza and as from the round one up until now he's been taking the fight to, Ma to Mahali and I, I, I agree with you he's winning the fight yeah you know one almost wants to say that Mabuza is fighting the wrong fight because he's not cutting off the ring and he's just lunging forward all the time but how do you fight a guy like Zolani Mahali that doesn't come to the center of the ring to fight you. That's why he's been a terrific fighter in his time. Right. But tonight he's not doing the business. Both of you step back. 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 Box. If Mabuza can use his jab so as to settle up Zolani. Right. I think things can be totally different from what is happening right now. The thing is, is that he just want to go and kill, and Zolani sees that he wants to kill him. So he makes sure that he doesn't get him. Round number 10 of the 12 rounds for the WBF Junior Welterweight uh, title. Solani Mahali is defending his title. Stop. Um, he's not doing enough 
action brand even up to this round except more about running away making sure that he's safe up until the last round Penultimate run in the championship run. Kenzalon and Mikhali pulls something at the bag here. He needs to work. Doesn't look like trying. There he is on his bike. Making sure he don't get hurt. Watch your head. Yeah. You know, the difference is Mayweather fights on the back foot, but he, he throws punches and he lands. Yes, yes, friend. Um, you know, Sugar Ray Leonard was like that. Mayweather, as you say, they do it tactically for a purpose. They don't do it just to survive the fight. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Sugar Ray Leonard was a great fighter. You reminded me of him. Welcome. And that's what you do. If you are going backwards, you throw punches and combinations. Right. You slip and you throw. And Zolani hasn't done much of that tonight. I know he's got the potential to do better than he that, than what he's doing right now. It's just that giving this I mean Mabuza too much respect and he focused that he's defending his title. Well, fortunately for Mabuza, he knows what he wants. And he's right there. Good right hand for Mabuza and the counter right straight left from Zolani right there, Brian. Yeah, I don't think the title's gonna be in Zolani's hands for too much longer. Depending on what the judges think, they might think differently to me. Summer fight, eh? <laughs> WBF title fight, and it looks like stop. That's okay. Stop. Away of Kaiser Mabuza. Holding. Okay. So it goes to one point. One point holding. One point holding. I'm sure. One point holding. One point holding. Mabuza, uh, by this time of the fight, you'd have right, got, got tired. But Mabuza is a very hard worker. I once trained with them at uh, a main event at gym. I saw them how they work. He's a hard right. worker. And due to the fact that he has fought the likes of Zeb Judah and the rest of them, that proves it all because he went full distance with them guys. Stop! He's been around. Kazuma Buza. It's the last round, champ. Right now, I want you to let the jabs go. Jab, straight lifts, right hooks, and move. Okay? Don't stay once on those ropes. Don't. Not this time. Good jab there from Abuza. You see in the slow mo action. Okay, come, shake hands, shake hands. Right, go back. 
this box, come. Last round, Bray. I think that's a pretty wishful thinking of Daniel Rubin there. Ooh, oh, as I said, right, 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 right in over the top. Right. He got in there. He got in there. Right. I can tell you right now. Again, another right hand. Break! Break! Mabuza looks like he wants to finish this right now, Brian. He wants to make sure that the judges, they don't... Well, the 12th and final round here at the ICC Center. And the same pace as the fight has been fought for 12 rounds. Kaiser Mapuza putting on the pressure against Zolani Mukhali. Mukhali says, bring it on. But he's running out of time. Let him go. Break. Break! Mabuza continuing to pressure Zolani, making sure that he, he wants to send a statement that he's, he's the one who's winning the fight to the Break. judges. How would you see it so far? Welcome with less than one minute to go. What? Would you think Mabuza's ahead on points? No, definitely for sure Mabuza's ahead of us. Zolan hasn't been doing nothing except running around, doing all these things. He hasn't been throwing punches. He, isn't, he didn't show that he is a true champion. And at least one round or two, he stand up and prove to Mabuza that he is a champion. Well, 30 seconds left in this 12th and final round. Zolani Mukhali defending the WBF Junior Welterweight title. And will it stay in his hands? Watch your head. In the next 17 seconds, we don't believe so yet, Rinsak. Break! Clearly, Mabuza has won the fight on Muskoka. Stop! Well, Alan Tell will. Junior and Zelani Makhali think they've won the fight. Mainly